Hey, coffee drinkers, and welcome back to Coffee Not Tea. You guys, I have a edifying word to release today from the Lord. He shared it with me yesterday. Well, he gave me revelation about this word yesterday, and um, it gave me a lot of clarity and insight that I want to share with you guys, and hopefully it'll give you all some insight, clarity, and maybe bring about um, some deliverances for you guys. So um, the title of this video is The Effects so the long-term effects of self-serving prophets, false teachers, false prophets. Now, I want to be clear before I get into this word. False prophets are not necessarily um, prophets that had not been ordained by God. False prophets, according to scripture in 2 Peter, false prophets are actually true prophets that have been led astray by greed or um, and just like by their own heresies like their own sensualities and god was really dealing with me yesterday well just speaking to me yesterday about the effects of being under the leadership or the tutelage of self-serving teachers or false prophets when you are brought into the fold of Christ like initially when you are initially brought into the fold of Christ or into the ministry of Christ by people who have their own agendas or by self-serving prophets teachers or leaders you only get bits and pieces of the true nature of who God is and because of that, because of these things, if you happen to leave or, well, it's like a multitude of things can happen. You wind up out of fear, staying up under this leadership, out of fear that you'll be out of God's will because you can't really hear from God because your relationship in, in God and your relationship in Christ has been, has been essentially well, I won't say infiltrated, but it was never organically seeded. Um, so your relationship with God is, let me just actually go to the scripture really quickly. So God gave me this scripture, 1 Corinthians 13, 12. And this is Paul speaking to the church of Corinth. He says, for now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I will know fully, just as I also have been fully known. God desires for us to know him. And the way that we know God is spending time with him, walking with him, um, spending alone seasons with God, learning his voice, learning how to hear from him. And when you are up under the tutelage of a self-serving leader, you don't, you miss those essential steps, those crucial moments in actually learning God's nature. So if you don't stay up under this person, and you do decide to branch out, then you likely will do it in a rebellion because maybe you feel robbed depending on, you know, what age you got into this ministry or you feel like there was time wasted. So you may go out into a rebellion and you complicate your life further. And then because because you miss essential steps and getting to know the spirit of God in spirit and in truth, your heart becomes a place for the enemy to really slip in because it has not been fortified in the spirit. Y'all understanding what I'm saying? So for instance, um, you leave, you leave up under this, this, this ministry or you leave up under this teacher and you go out in the world and your heart, you become bitter, you know, or because you, can't really hear the direction from the Holy Spirit, you just wind up making like these decisions that weren't God led, weren't spirit led. And what God was letting me know is that for his true children that go through that, he has to reestablish himself, reestablish his love and reestablish his, his truth and what his true nature is within you once you finally break apart and that's how you become a true servant of God every servant of Christ 
goes through God has a nature. So every servant of Christ goes through specific seasons where the Lord teaches you about faith in him. He teaches you about his nature. He teaches you about the enemy. He teaches you about warfare. And then he'll begin to go into your gifts and your specific calling. And when you have someone who wants to serve themselves, teaching you about these things, you don't get them for yourself. So you get out here in the world and you're lost and you become a useful tool of the enemy. So prayerfully, you guys, um, for you all who may have, and, and hopefully, because the worst case scenario is that you get out and because you're so bitter or because you have not really gotten the fullness of Christ's love and 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 the fullness of God's spirit, you do away with it altogether. And that is why the scripture in Second Peter, well, Second Peter um chapter number two talks about how God reserves reserves a pit for these false prophets because they tamper with the soul so bad that they miss out on destiny, um, destiny steps, kingdom marriages, just the the task that God had for them. And they get tampered with so, um, so shoddily that a lot of these souls go on to um do away with God do away with the teachings of Christ because they did not get the truth about who Christ is because they did not spend that time so I implore you guys to read your Bibles for yourself and spend the alone time with the Lord let him speak to you let him mentor you and learn how to communicate learn how to hear the voice of God so that no matter what because when you really spend that time with Christ and you see how far the spirit of the Lord has brought you and how um and how much he loves you and how much his spirit protects you you will never forsake um you Christ becomes your life Christ becomes your life because once at at that point when you think back on when you got saved and your point up to now you you have revelation so much revelation that you would not have gotten otherwise so i implore you all to pray um pray for your church leaders pray for the ministries that you're part of Pray that God, pray for an open heart that God can really come in and minister to you guys. Pray for a clean heart before God and pray for a good ground in your heart so that when God plants the seed of salvation, that it would be water and that the Lord would get the increase. So I love you guys. I want y'all to um, be blessed in everything and um, God is good. Don't forget it, you guys. God is good. He is faithful and he will never forsake you. Get to know him for yourself. In Jesus' name, amen.